The first question I have for you, Chris, is trying to educate us on Laura versus Laura Wan. We're hearing Laura Wan all over the place with the various network providers that are doing it. But there, it all started out from this Laura thing. Uh, can you give us a, a, an educated idea as to the Laura versus Laura Wan definitions and use cases? Uh, I'll try. That's a lot of ground to cover and not get into too much detail. But the Laura is a uh, is a radio technology, a spread spectrum kind of radio technology uh, that was invented, I think, back in France a number of years ago and acquired and commercialized by SimTech. But it's just a radio protocol, sort of like your your FM radio in your car. Anything can be broadcast over that. Uh, but you got to agree on all the details in between. You know, what's the the bandwidth? How many bits? Uh, what's the modulation with all these details have to be agreed on and what format are you going to send the data? So LoRa is a basic building block, very simple. Just here's how you send some bits. LoRa WAN takes that and defines how to use those bits in packets, how to join a network, how to build a network, how to find a network if you're a device. So that when you turn on your device, it knows how to scan, uh, find a channel, broadcast, uh, you know, hey, I'm here and then be authenticated and provisioned on that network. So a LoRa WAN is the WAN part really that builds on, part, on top of a very basic uh, radio. Um, LoRa WAN is designed for a very specific set of applications. So things like water meters and, and many of the other devices out there are very well suited. They can wake up once in a while, say I'm here, get their message across, get a, maybe a little bit of feedback and go back to sleep. That's the most prevalent uh, way to use that. LoRaWAN had a little bit more trouble. It's you know being standardized when you needed to send larger amounts of data for things like photo. So those, those features are being added, but they were not necessarily there at the beginning. We use LoRa, for example, in uh, several products that we've done. Um, our Celio product, we use LoRa. We designed it back in 2G cellular days. So small amounts of data, they were expensive, they were slow. So the, the cellular and the LoRa part lined up pretty well in terms of size and basic performance characteristics. Um, but we also included from the beginning the ability to update the firmware over there and things like that. So we were able to customize the protocol and the implementation end-to-end -end to meet the needs of our particular products and uh, the end-to-end -end solution. Uh, but we have you know, several applications like that.